Hello everyone, what's up? I'm Colby Cheese and let's talk Lulu, Riot's new AP support champion. I'm guessing that they were trying to release Lulu as some type of champion that's going to be played as a new support bot lane. And so, first off, she's got a shield that is the same amount as Janna's with the ability to also do damage instead. Whenever I play her as a support, I level up her E, which is her shield, and then her W, which allows her to either speed up her allies or she can CC one of the enemy champions. Now, honestly, she doesn't feel as strong or as useful as other supports when I played her bot lane several times. After a lot of practice and even uh, talking to some of my other friends who have been playing her a lot, I feel like her real strength is whenever she's played in the middle lane in order to farm up big ability power items and then support abilities um, in addition to her poke become really really strong. Whenever you play her as AP mid it significantly amplifies her usefulness. It adds damage to the equation whereas whenever you play her as a support you can't really make use of her E and Q damage combo. It also adds a large amount of protection to the shield that she has and to the ability for her to heal her allies with her ultimate. What you end up with is a mix of a very strong support, utility, and a decent amount of poke damage rather than just full out insta burst or AoE that some of the other AP mid champions would have. Now due to this, I feel it's best to make sure your team comp consists of sufficient damage dealers for you to complement while you lay down cover fire and poke in addition to your utility. So let's talk about her abilities. Her Q is her Glitter Lance, and it's a, it's able to actually shoot from her little uh, passive picks. So it's very useful for landing on targets by placing picks on either your ally who's close to an enemy, or even just landing on an enemy, running back, and then shooting out your Q. And it's really easy to land from that way. It also, land, it also will clear waves, which is a pretty big deal, and it has a nice slow attached to it. Her W, which is Whimsy, gives you a speed boost. It's really awesome for doing some hit and run poking. So when I'm in the lane, what I like to do is I'll um, pop my Whimsy, run up, and I can uh, I can hit my E, the help picks spell, and then land a Glitter Lance after that, and run backwards without taking too much in return if you do it correctly. So it's great for escaping if people are chasing after you or giving a speed boost to your ally who wants to engage. Uh, it's a great CC for dangerous targets when you're in team fights, and I think that's one of the best things about it. Uh, if you have someone jumping in like a Vayne or you know any AD carry or even their AP and you just want to shut them down for a short amount of time, uh, it's, it's best used in that situation whenever you're in those full out team fights. I would always recommend putting it on someone with constant damage such as the AD carry for example. Uh, it gives a 2.5 seconds uh, CC at max level, so it's really good. And I'll max it last when I play AP mid, but if I'm playing support, uh, of course I'll play, I'll max it second. Now, finally, her help picks. It's uh, it's an interesting spell. It's a direct damage ability, and so it's pretty strong. The um, the ability to to actually land that on someone and then run back, and whenever you want, you can shoot out your glitter lance so that you can aim it easily. It's actually really nice to do that. What I end up doing when I'm in the landing phase, since she actually has pretty good uh, mana costs on her abilities, is I'll just a lot of times use my help picks to uh, finish off a creep that's low health if I don't want to uh, miss it, or if I'm going to auto attack one, I'll kill the other one with that, and then I can finish off everything else with the uh, Glitter Lance. So there's, there's a lot of different options that you can use with it. You can also use your help picks on a full health minion that is close to the enemy, and then use your Glitter Lance to harass them. Um, for the most part though, I, I generally will use it to do damage. If there is somebody who's getting really low, of course, I'll, I'll land it on them for the shield. So it's great to help yourself get away in those bit bad situations. And Wild Growth. Now this is our ultimate. At first I wasn't too sure, but every single game I played on her, I learned a different way to use it. And it's so extremely useful in many different situations. It's uh, awesome for escaping ganks. You can knock off people. From, uh, from jumping on top of you, such as someone who wants to, to you know, run up and close the gap on you, you can knock them off extremely easily. Uh, it's great for healing allies. And the big thing to note with this is that it's kind of like the, the Nasus ult, it's not affected by ignites because it simply raises the max amount of HP you have 
Um, and then whenever you lose that HP, the HP remains. So it's essentially a heal. It'll give you approximately 800 heal once you have uh, your ability power items built up, and that is an extremely large amount. Not only that, though, uh, I like to use it, for example, whenever I have a, an ally that's going to run into the middle of an enemy team, I'll pop it on them after they've taken a few hits so that I'll knock everyone up around them, and it slows them so that it makes it really easy for my allies to stick to the targets that they're trying to attack. So it's great for your bruisers. Uh, you can throw it on to people such as Aurelia and things like that. Uh, really strong in those cases. It's also good for saving your carry. If your carry gets jumped on, it'll knock up whoever jumps on top of them and then has that slow so they can escape. And you can even heal bait people with it. So, so many different situations that it's uh, that it's able to be used in. Alright, so as far as build on her and how you play her in the laning phase, I tend to pick up a Wota first and that makes it really easy for me to stay in the lane as long as possible. My goal when I play her is to just farm up just constantly and try and stay in the lane as long as I possibly can. She's got such amazing uh, mana cost once again that I'm able to stay in the lane and farm up and farm up safely. Uh, generally won't be too aggressive unless my enemy is uh, you know easy to poke and they open themselves up then I'll run up with my uh, whimsy if necessary otherwise I'll just run up and hit my help picks and run back use my glitter lance as soon as I get back to safety. I try not to, to stand there and uh, use Glitter Lance whenever I'm still in damage range. But if they're not too threatening, then you can actually sit there and auto-attack them. Since your passive is a great source of extra damage, you can do like an extra 100 damage or so, uh, depending on what level you are. I think at max level it does like a little over 120 extra damage on each auto-attack. So it's pretty damn strong, actually. Um, after my Woda, I'll probably build into a Death Cap, and then, of course, Sword Boots, somewhere in that equation. If you need the extra HP and you're getting focus, and, and you, you know, because obviously going straight Woda Death Cap, you're going to be a little bit lower on HP. Uh, sometimes you can pick up a Dorans if you need to, although personally I've just been going straight for the Woda. And then uh, later on, I'll go into possibly a Rylace Crystal Scepter. That does help out quite a bit. Um, if you have a team comp where you're not really the focus and you and you can get that good positioning advantage, then you can go straight for a Void Staff if they're going to be picking up some resist and that'll help you out as well. She's really great for zoning out certain people, so what you want to do in team fights is make sure that you focus the right targets because you do have to be wary of your cooldowns. It's not like she can just insta burst people down. What I like to do is try and really keep my eye on the enemy AP carry and AD carry and Whoever runs in first, I'll try and and put the whimsy on them. Usually the AD carry, I try and save my whimsy for them, and then I'll I'll just pop everything I've got on those targets. I'll use my uh, my help picks on top of them, and then shoot out my glitter lance to try and burst them down as much as possible. At the same time, you have to keep your eye on your other allies who are taking damage, usually from their tanks who jump in. Now, if you have someone that jumps that jumps in on your team, I'll pop my ultimate on them. Otherwise, if it's my carry getting focused, then I'll use my ultimate on them. So all of that stuff that's going on at the same time, you have to really keep your eyes open. And so that's probably one of the harder things about playing the Lulu you know, at the most optimal level as really thinking about all the different situations where your ability is going to be best used. Is it going to be better for you to speed up an ally or is it going to be better for you to use whimsy on an enemy? That's what you have to think about constantly in team fights. So there's a lot of room for mistakes when playing her. Uh, not only that, but you know, it's really easy to miss the Glitter Lance if not done correctly. In any case, after a lot of practice, I think you can get her down and she's actually very strong. Uh, as far as my mastery and rune pages, I'll go with the standard uh, full ability power masteries. And then on runes, I'll pick up a mix of ability power on my quintessences, magic pen reds, and then the rest for my yellows and blues, I'll do the uh, mana regen per level. And that helps me stay in the lane a lot longer and just spam my abilities out. Overall, I think she's a great champion. Uh, I feel she's a successful AP support champion, although not really that great of a bot lane support, if you ask me. I recommend picking her up if you like complicated decision making in the in the heat of battle. If that's your sort of thing, go for it. And also if you like playing mid, she's a lot of fun to play and I support it. So this is Kobe Cheese guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. I'll see you around next time. Peace out.